Hello everybody, welcome to the most fun game number 17. Up at 450 TV against Kemri. That's a good TV advantage, isn't it? Um, he might get something good though, like a wizard and... Um, set it, no, a wizard and... The extra mummy, so it'll be five mummies to fight against, which is pretty bad. Oh, oh beg your pardon. So he's got two mighty blows. A block and a dodge. He's already got 13 players. 13 players is good for him against um, against Chaos. Can't see that. Never mind. So I've got only a couple of guard. Only one claw guy. He's going to have to remove two guardians, really, to have a chance. Got the tackle guy for his dodger. And obviously can't even carry on him because he's scared of the wizard. Oh, he's gone for the chef. I don't think that's a good play, to be honest. I don't think it's a good play going for the chef. Um, because he could have got, he could have got like Ramtot or something, couldn't he? You know, he could have had Ramtot or something. Um, Ramtot would have put massive pressure on me with five mummies instead of four. I have got three rerolls, so unless he gets really lucky and steals all three. It's just going to put me on one, which is which is manageable, isn't it? He only got one. So it hasn't been great for him so far. And... Right. Oh, well, it saved myself. Unbelievable, Jeff. I guess protect the uh, dirty player. I've got to get fouling. I've got to foul more. Do I want both guards the same side? Not really. And probably want these. Uh, easy for them to get three dice, but then on the other hand, isolating two guardians is good, isn't it? Spread them out. B L B L G F. I'm so dead. Haha. -ha. He's not even. I, this isn't even that bad for him. Just because he's got that. If he doesn't have the um. Because <laughs> I'm died. <laughs> um. How do you go? <laughs> um, the Nergs are doing pretty well, Shawnee. 13 to 1. But um, they're just not. They're not. They're not super rowdy or anything, are they? Like he's not totally dead. Like I don't know. I don't think he look. This looks scary for him, really. Oh. Getting banged on. Yeah. Banged on. Blitz. Oh, the blitz. I got a blitz. I got a blitz. Yeah, I think he did as well, yeah. Yeah, right, so I gotta I gotta blitz this guy, haven't I? I'll maybe put him in here. Gotta just claw blitz. There's not even there's not even a choice, is there? That's the great tactics of Blood Bowl there. Make a claw blitz. Oh, if only I could go for it three times to foul him. I guess base these guys. Mm. 
and never say blitz ever again, why not? Blots. Oh, do you mean blots? <laughs> I was just being like, join me as we go down the rabbit hole. <laughs> There's been a blots. <laughs> Sprint DP right would be amazing. Oh man. That would be the fucking greatest. Oh yeah, he just needs to just need to push to get the two D, doesn't he? Fuck. Well, it's been on blots. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. I just like the accent. Well, it's been on blots. <laughs> yeah, the best fight goes pretty good, isn't he? Yeah. The rabbit hole, um, what's he called? Um... Combat bunny. When somebody um, when somebody follows, he's like, "Join me as we go down the rabbit hole." <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh shit, I'm still on desktop. All right, oops. Here we are. You can see the bits there. Thank you, Fash. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. If, actually, things have been going all right, haven't they? In Blood Bowl land as well. That's the that's the craziest thing. That's the craziest thing. Haven't been getting banged on every game. Feels amazing, man. <laughs> Big money first. <laughs> He's fresh from the gladiator pits where he's been fighting, um, where he's been. I am, I am Miraz Kadu. I'm sorting out the emojis. They are, they are getting sorted as we speak. There's nothing I can do. It's just up to, um, it's just up to Twitch now. So, I've done my part. Right, I could block the guard free here, couldn't I, to do something. Don't know what. I really don't want to waste the day play, but I guess I have to. And this guy's a bit fucking isolated now, isn't he? I'm gonna waste my blitz just to fucking bang on this piece of shit. He requires a good banging on. Fail to bang on. Scheiser. Danke. Okay. Alright, so. Do I wanna move my um, guard guy around? You could just block and he could block him. More blocks on, on armor 7, I guess, is better than freeing him up. Dodge away, or just leave him down. That's nice leaving him down's fine. I'm letting him get some good ground this turn, but then on the other hand, I can always swing these guys around if I have to. <sighs> yeah, I fucking hate knots, <laughs> but still. Um. <laughs> when I say piece of shit, I mean Nuffle or, you know, the certain players on the team. Not the coach. Not the coach. Oh my god, I love that. I love that alert. 
Thank you very much, Balorm. Um Stay fantastic. Thumbs up. <laughs> Glorious. Yeah, maybe I should have hit the ball, but the thing is, I would have had to done it with tackle, wouldn't I? Um, I don't know. I, I don't really want to go for the ball yet. I want to go... Maybe next turn for the ball. Ah, oh, yes, so I should play yours, VIP Oriolensis. Wait a second. And it broke! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, man. For fuck's sake. What, what is up with it? Just fucking breaking? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, thank you very much for this sub, but it's kaput. <laughs> kaput. Oh, foul appearance. Alright, so these three block down, or just these two block down. Uh, what happens here? He blocks him. He blocks him, he blocks him, then he gets to run around and put pressure on. Where does the blitz come? I think next turn. Next turn is when the pressure comes. You want to get an armor break on one of these, but now now he's free to come round, isn't he? Next turn. Um. You can turn the corner here. Oh god, that was a one dice, sir. Oh. I can't re-roll it. That was shit, wasn't it? I can't. What a fucking cunt. Oh, shit. Oh, well. That makes everything a lot worse, doesn't it? No blitz and... Just to fuck up. I just... I should play a bit slower, I guess, so I don't do those. This is what I mean about playing the first game of the day. You know, I tend to do fucked up things like that. Oh, shit. Could have got away with it, couldn't I, though? It didn't have to be a fucking skull. Well, that was a pretty big punish, because I could have 2D'd him, and then 2D'd him if I'd been thinking. And then stood him up and made a blitz with him. Stood him up. But now he's down, he gets these two moved. It's pretty huge, actually, that skull. Maybe I should have re-rolled it. Pretty huge skull. Even like even making a one D wouldn't have been that bad, would it? Really, it only fails one in six. Even if I'd known it was a one dice. So. Oh man, that is a brutal. That is a brutal punish. Shit. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that very hop here. Because it's easy, isn't it, with all the fucking skills in the way to not fucking notice things and talking and what have you. That's just absolutely huge. They all get banged down instead of them all being fucking... Instead of them all being tied up, they're, they're all free. Absolutely massive. It's probably could have lost me the game, that. That could have been a game-losing skull. Maybe I should have re-rolled it, eh? <laughs> Maybe I should have fucking re-rolled it. Fuck. Ah, oh, well, actually, by him not standing, choosing to not stand him up, he's actually given us the go-ahead 
to put pressure on the ball, which is nice. Block him there. He goes there. It's a bit shit, isn't it? But kind of all I can do. He can now come down as well. He definitely stands up. I guess he just stands up as well. Man, this fucking claw mighty blow guy really needed to have done something. And that's quite a lot of pressure on the ball now, isn't there? Four, five, six of my players, four of his. I think he scores this turn. Yeah, well, the thing is, Vela Hoppy, uh, it was. I needed that. You know, I thought. Uh, yeah, you go. You see, I, I thought I could still be able to force him to score early. I'd still need two rerolls on offense, really, don't I? I don't need them, but I'd really like to. I'd really like to re-rolls on offense. Alright, it's he's got C setting up. Dickhead. <laughs> Dickhead. I'm trying to swap them, but he's gonna set up first. Five turns is possible. I would have really loved to have fucking removed a Tomb Guardian though, after getting after getting three Claw Mighty Blow knockdowns. The only thing is the wizard, isn't it? If he didn't have a wizard, um, I'd be very, very confident of just picking up the strength four and scoring with him. But the fact he's got the wizard um, makes things a little bit tricky, doesn't it? So I want to move the guard in here. And a guy there and then blitz from there. where I get banged on for leaving this side a bit open. Should foul as well, shouldn't I? He wants to carry the ball. Bit banged on here, maybe. Aha! Gonna throw a rock, that's how you get men up with with killer Nurgle. <laughs> Don't bother actually knocking anybody down. Just get that. So yeah, I should have just put the wrestle guy on him, I guess. But um that's okay I think. I guess I can put the rest him there as well. Come on, kill him. Oh, 
Oh man, no armor breaks. One, two, three, four, five, GFI. I can't even get there with a dirty player. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty tame. They're pretty tame, yeah. They are pretty tame. Well, I was just saying kill a Nurgle because, you know, people say Nurgle are killers. And they want to be. But yeah, it's probably the tamest Nurgle team anyone's ever seen. It is pretty tame for 1700, yeah. I really need, I really need a claw palm. Desperately, desperately need more claw, more mighty blow. Yeah, I thought Nurgle's a control team. <laughs> Nurgle ain't a fucking. But to be fair, look, I've won. I've gone 13 to 1 by being a control team. Um, so there you go. I mean, all teams are control teams, aren't they? That's why I think it's a stupid thing to say Nurgle a control team. Really, Bash is just is just control. Like Bash is control, isn't it? And they kind of want removals, and it's kind of stupid to not take the best removal skills on a bash team. Like, you're just handicapping yourself by not taking Claw Mighty Blow and piling on, aren't you, really? Yeah, unfortunately, I just went with default names. I I'm guess I'm going to have to start naming everybody now. Um... <laughs> you already are? You're in the north? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't have a Yeti in the north team. Yeah, a control team on punishment. But it kind of is, isn't it? They're kind of like a control team in that you use the guard and control the space to kind of protect the ball and what have you. Is kind of what. It's kind of what bash teams do. Whereas agility teams don't need to do it because agility teams can just score whenever the fuck they want. Agility teams can just do whatever the fuck they like, can't they, and still score. <laughs> Is it really you? I don't think it's. <laughs> wow. That's a bit crazy. All right. Good. Right. This is why it's Bash. This is why it's Killer Nurgle. I'm totally gonna kill this guy here. Totally gonna fucking kill him. I know it. I know he's gonna die with him from that block. Yes! <laughs> yes! Except there was no thing, so he regen, but that was good. He's off the pitch for this drive. That's fucking good enough. I'll buy that for a dollar. Need have to GFI twice to make that a 2D. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> Streamer hacks. Put strength in there. Could be a, could be a thing to do. One dice, the, I guess just one dice him. Because it's, it's worth it, isn't it? Could work. Mm. <laughs> All one dice is our skulls. Pre recorded. <laughs> it's not pre-recorded towards the door. Um. 
<laughs> yeah, both. One D, one one D was on purpose because it's not that bad, is it? Like a one D isn't that bad, really, against a Tomb Guardian. I'll take a one D with block against a Tomb Guardian without block, or any day of the week. And that, with that breathing space of him being one Nurgle warrior down, there might be enough to get forward now. It might be possible. Look how crucial the, the Fend would have been if he'd got a push there. It would have been amazing. He did mark the ball. He makes a one dice, gets a pow. Doesn't matter too much. Because, uh, you know, I can still free him up with the block there anyway. Right. So I guess he blitzes him. And then he runs around here, these two stand up, and funnel men through to get ahead. That's the order of the day. Try not to fucking roll double skulls. Bang on. I guess this one can try... Uh, can he try to dodge away? Don't know if there's any point. Ah, oh, shit, he can't get through with him in the way. So... He's going to have to go first. I'm going to have to blitz from this direction. Really love a GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ball can get to there. He can come through there. I guess just go here. I'd really love to one dice this guy, but seeing as the way my one dice, so this is, I guess this is bad, well, no, it's okay keeping, keeping him occupied is okay, isn't it? Yeah, you would rather do a one didn't get 2D. The only thing is, in this situation, of course, this is still... If I skull... Like, if I power, it's great, because he's occupying two players, isn't it? If he pushes, it's giving away a two-dice block for no real gain. Um, I don't know, that, that, that's an interesting one. That's the sort of thing that you could debate whether it's worth doing quite a bit. Like, it's good that it's guaranteed that somebody's occupied. But imagine if, I, if I'd powered him there, he doesn't get to make this move and stuff. But then that guy gets that gets his guy clawed. So... This could be a really good next turn, couldn't it? This could be really good. Mighty blow hit incoming. OK. 
Okay. This ha just has to happen. There's not even a decision to be made there. Okay. So now maybe the blitz on him and then the block on him. Get forward a little bit. If this blocks him, he can block him as well. So this block here I think is definitely happening because a push wouldn't have been the end of the world. I just follow up keeping up since this guy's gonna stand anyway. 90 blow on him. Gotta re roll it. Left myself open with the double skull though, didn't I? Maybe I should have done safe moves first. Two, three, four, five, six, GFI. So maybe go here. Oh, I, do, I didn't really want him in front, did I? But what the fuck else can I do? Now I guess this one dicer is is fine because the failure just doesn't matter at all. And it's same here, isn't it? With the added payoff of okay, getting mighty blow block, but also stopping him getting him in somewhere. Yeah, the thing is, the thing is though, right? The safe moves were wouldn't couldn't have been done because he was there, wasn't he? Like that guy was there, so I couldn't have actually done the safe moves first. The thing of if I sideline the carrier and he gets knocked over from the fireball or bolt, then the ball goes in the crowd. So yeah, there you go. Fashbinder says no, he has wizard. Yeah, that that was why I didn't want to sideline it against the bolt. But now he's just he's just failed all four with his fireball. Feels amazing, man. That was a bit of a madman wizard there, wasn't it? I don't know what he was hoping to get. I mean even if he knocks these two, he can't get at the ball. Oh yeah, he can he could come in this way, I guess. But still. Just a one dice. <laughs> minus two. <laughs> minus two hit for Afagos. Like, obviously, if he hits the ball carrier, he's good. If he knocks these two over, he doesn't get a hit on the ball. If he knocks these three... Well, these two, he gets a hit on the ball. This one, I guess this one knocked over. I guess this, if this one he gets it, you know, he doesn't. He still wouldn't get a hit on the ball though if he knocked this guy over because he was down, he was based. So he just needed too much to happen. I don't know. Stream hack's too obvious, man. <laughs> right, so just don't double skull this. Alright, good. And I feel like I've got to two dice him with claw. I just have to. Um, even though, of course, I want the reroll for the GFI. I think I have to two dice with claw mighty blow a tomb guardian. Because the payoff is just too big, isn't it? There you go, KO'd, maybe. I'm not going to block him though. Phew. Either that or just wait for the second half, Nomadic Jam, yeah. Paste the ball! <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, if, if you wanted to use the wizard, then yeah, I guess bolt the bolt the wizard and bolt the bolt the ball and base and blitz and everything like you said. Yeah, but then on the other hand, maybe just save it. Yeah, flash bang. That's pretty good. Pretty good that these two stayed out. Pretty huge. So there you go. That greed block worked out pretty well, didn't it? And and the rock as well. He did get that guy knocked out from the rock, which is obviously obviously very unlucky for him. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He still got eleven though. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So he still got uh, he still got the full team. I've got the full team, but obviously he's stolen one reroll from the chef again. It's going pretty pretty amazing strategy here. <laughs> Can listen to Blood Bowl Rage. Hopefully not. Hopefully not, Boon OP. <laughs> Hopefully not. Yeah, exactly. That that's the thing. That's the thing. Um, you know, I, I would. I personally wouldn't have wizarded then. I would have kept it for the for the threat second half because now without the threat of the wiz, it makes makes the game a hell of a lot easier for me, doesn't it? Do I put in both guarders here to blitz him? Probably. Probably do, don't I? Guard, guard, blitz. Now, well, I guess he, he tries to score again, I guess. Seeing as I need the star player points on him. Guess by setting up like this, if he gets the blitz, you can't two D him. Well, he can one D. Yeah, you can't two D him. You can one D him, but he can't two D him. And having him over here is actually pretty good because if he gets a blitz, I still got a. Or if the ball goes over here, I still got a strong boy who can do something. The only bad thing is the dirty players are relevant. Yeah, it's pretty close, isn't it, Jam Toast? Pretty fucking close. I'm 37-5 actually, Jam Toast, because I played the um, I played the game today. So, so there you go. Right, guard in, guard in there. Any safe moves? He can come over here. That's about it for the safe moves, I think. Gotta get in. <laughs> gotta gotta get in for the Tomb Guardian blast, haven't I? And that's the thing because there's no threat of the Wiz, I can I can cage a bit looser. I think I'm gonna give up the mighty blow block though to get to get the cover in. Or alternatively, get one, two, three, four. Then maybe that's better, isn't it? Yeah, don't give up the don't give up the mighty blow block. In fact, this this guy can do it. One, two, three, four, five. So, so he can get over the ball. Which is good, isn't it? And yeah, I think he's okay where he is, the DP. Obviously no reroll on the pickup, no pressure. No chance of a wizard to create extra pressure as well. <laughs> I 
Fash updating them. I think we're really close on the scores. Bus excuse machine, dirty dingo. So we've got we've got almost the same win percentage, almost the same points, almost the same amount of games played. He could easily like win four, lose one, or win three, draw two, and we could have exactly the same record. Excuse machine. Oh man. Dirty dingo fash. Have you got the um, Kaz for and against Fash? Can you put the Kaz for and against in that little graphic as well? Hello, Sle VIP Sledger. <laughs> yeah, they are in wrong rank order. Oh my god, he, d he greeted it and got the both down. One in nine. One in nine from the greed block. Banged on. Get to make another another claw blitz here. And yes, I could have made a claw block, of course. But where's the fun in that? Oh, that would have to be a GFI. Don't not really a fan of putting him in there. But then I have to, huh? Oh, fuck that up a bit. Good. Greed is right. Fuck that up a bit. Greed works. Okay, kick him with your claws. <laughs> Good idea. Go here. <laughs> Don't want that devastating blodger to come round the outside. Get them. Get away. Get them both away from the ball a little bit. Get the dirty player ready to ready to get somebody. Still maintain the screen after this guy gets powered. Elf screen it. Oh, baby. And now I'm in, I'm in absolutely getting completely fucked by a fireball position in terms of damage, but it doesn't matter because he hasn't got one. So he let me, he let me tee off, didn't he? Not that much worse than Sam Davies, not that, but still quite a bit worse. Hello, Spawn of Cthulhu. So I've caused less cars and taken more cars in less games. <laughs> to be fair, though, I've got eight, I think, concession victories, and he's only got one. Which has means some of the games when I would have got more cars, they conceded, I guess. Oh no, really? I <laughs> took 92 cars. Oh man. <laughs> Plus 87 minus 92. <laughs> That's crazy. weird I don't know what the right answer is <laughs> he watches every game and records the stats um, 
I can't actually. Oh, this is kind of annoying, isn't it? Because I can't. Uh, well, what can I do? Run around there? No, I can't chain. I was thinking if I run two guys around there, I could chain him out to get somebody in there and chain him out to get 2D there. But that's a lot of work for not a lot of payoff. So I guess I just don't follow here. Alright. No, I don't follow. Definitely not going to follow there. <laughs> One, two, three, four. That seems good. Again, he can't two dice him anyway, can he? Because he's protected. Guess I could have made it through now. I couldn't make it three dice. Blitz with your claw, mighty blow guy. <laughs> Nurgle and chaos tactics. <laughs> I was going to say rule number one, but really it's the only rule. <laughs> first rule of <laughs> the first rule of Nurgle Fight Club is make two dice blocks with Claw Palm or Claw Mighty Blow if you haven't got Claw Palm. That's the only rule. I can put him there because he's strength 4, can't I? Ah, maybe put him here then so that you can only one dice him. Put the tackle here for him. You can block him down running around here, but it's not easy, as especially as he's a fucking chem team. Bit of a bit of a dirty player foul. That's weird, isn't it? Such a big discrepancy. Maybe cyanide records the cards that your opponents made. I did play Chorf this season, Spawn of Cthulhu, several, several matches with them. But didn't didn't win any games. <laughs> well, I win some games, but overall it was pretty shit. This was bad, wasn't it? Although I had the tackle there. Oh shit! He got injured. He got one dice piled. He's regen though. Right. Okay. It was only badly hurt. I had the tackle there to stop him dodging through, which was a bit stupid because he ain't gonna fucking dodge through with a fucking dodge guy anyway, is he? So I guess I shouldn't have had him out exposed. All right. We'll get the surface guy anyway. He's elf screened, but it's. Way too early for that. Right. Get him in there. Still a little bit dodgy, isn't it? But one, two, three, four. One GFI to two dice him. Or two GFIs. So he's going to have to do it. He's going to have to come in here. 
He's going to have to go out to there. He's going to have to block him down because he's strength. He's strength six. Which is good, isn't it? Oh, man. Banged on him. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's not bang on about it. It is what it is, isn't it? Look. It is what it is. Alright. Blitz. Blitz. Got him. That was good, wasn't it? So I think there's no real way, is there? I can chain him out. He can chain him out. He could one day him. So maybe something more in here. Maybe it's just another GFI here to make things. Might make things better. Forty-three percent. Hello. <laughs> the records, are, the records are close in seventy-one and seventy-three, aren't they? Fash, Fash updated it. Fash updated it. We've got seventy-nine. Point seven three and seventy nine point seven six. I don't know where you got seventy one and seventy three from. Oh, you're talking about number of actual games won rather than win percentage, right? I get you. I get you, Sam Davies. Oh man, I shit myself then. I saw the one dice power and thought it was the ball. But okay, he didn't he didn't get to the ball. He didn't get to the ball. Thanks God. Fash with the um updating. There you go. Well, take the push, thanks. Yeah, the webcam is meant to be off bleeding hippie because I'm ill. I put it on yesterday because you know I figured I figured I had to with the with the getting the sub button, you know, for the reactions and what have you. But oh man, I really want to just surf him. But on the other hand, I've got to get forward, haven't I? Now turn thirteen, I've got to start getting forward. I guess he's got so few people, I can I can leave it a turn later. I have to get the surf, don't I? Alright, oh, I won't get the surf then. Alright, get a KO. It's like imaginary. I'll get the imaginary surf. That works out well. And. He wants to get a Kaz from this, doesn't he? Greed Would be is good for him. Greed is right. Greed works. He could just base him so that he's a shithead and he's out of the way.
He can go here for the options, can't he? Take the boat down. We'll balls it. Not the win rate discussion. Thing is though, Stradi K Napoleon Napoleon was a bit like um he was a bit like uh Inarian, wasn't he? He had his style. And while it worked against all the scrubs, when he came up against a proper coach, he got banged on. Look at this Fend! Fend doing monstrous work here. Stops the ball carrier getting based. Get fucking banged on. Oh dear. <laughs> All right. So there should be a push up here possible, shouldn't there? Turn 14, so a turnover isn't the worst. All right, block here anyway. That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. <sighs> I wanna blitz him and then I can move the ball up around here. He can two D him so then he can come up as well. So in the interest of safe moves first. He could just block him, couldn't he? I want to stand where he's standing. Now he can't base the ball. And put him up there. Alright. That seems good enough. Really would like to have got a bit further forward though.
Oh, he did base the ball. Did he just GFI twice? <laughs> he got the power and GFI twice, so he did base the ball. What a motherfucker. Oh, huge dodge. Huge dodge coming up. Hmm. I want, I want to blitz with him, but on the other hand, I need the scoring threat, don't I? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I think he's going to go there and be my scoring threat. One, two, three, four, five, six. And... And then make the blitz with this guy. And if I'd quad scored, I would have still had somebody who could score, wouldn't I? Maybe I should have stood this guy up first as well. Yeah, I definitely should have done that first. Oh well. Dirty player. Is it worth getting the dirty player foul in? I guess not. <laughs> Random KO. So two, do I foul? Do I foul a mighty blow guy to not give up a block? He can hit the ball, he can hit the ball. I guess he's got block and he doesn't, so it's better fouling him. It was pretty easy, wasn't it? He attacked in column, and the English defended in line and beat him every single time, didn't they? That was it. That was it. Simple as beaten by maths. Napoleon beaten by maths. Um, hello, RX nubs. Yeah, the, well, the, the Nurgle won yesterday, so you know it's um, they didn't do badly. But yeah, I played better. I did do a did do I did do a dumb thing. I did do a I did do a dumb yesterday. Um, I haven't done a dumb today. Well, I did I did a dumb today. Just one dumb today, rather than a sustained match of being dumb. Um, but I'm gonna make the block with him. 3D purely because obviously it's really unlikely to fail. What one in forty six thousand, and if he gets a Kazi levels, doesn't he? So got got to hit the armor seven there. Right. And yeah, fuck it. No no more risks when the game's in the balance. Broken face, um Yeah. Maybe based more with your TGs early. Um try on and also maybe saved with right 
is this saved? Yeah, it is. So give all of these. Um, keep one or two TGs back. I would have based with all of the TGs. I would have got all of your TGs into contact. Um, but obviously in intelligent way <laughs> it's easy just to talk to him in the chat isn't it seeing as he doesn't seem an asshole seeing as it seems he just said if, if you got any advice for me after losing um, is it twitch.tv Slash Jimmy Fantastic. Because, you know, like, he's been... Who would lose 500 TV... 400, he was 450 TV down against Nurgle. And he got hit by a rock on, on the kickoff. And he said, did you see any strategy where I could have done better? What a fucking nice guy. What a nice guy that is, isn't it? Instead of just, like, being, moaning about fucking luck. Unbelievable. Hello, Yuri Styles. No emotes yet. I'm, I'm waiting for them to approve the prefix. Um, and then once they approve the prefix, if you want, um, then then I can apply for the emotes. Which will, so it's all going to take a few days. Is it twitch.tv? I don't know. I mean, if that was if that was me, I would have just been fucking pissed off that I had to play a stupid game 450 TV down and my wizard fizzled and my fucking and my guy had been hit by a rock. I'd have been so fucking salty if I was him. So fucking mad if I was him. And yet he was just like, did you see any strategy where I could have done better? It's unbelievable, isn't it? It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> what a lovely guy. What an absolutely lovely guy. That's pretty crazy. It's And it's, you know, it's it's easy as well. Like, if he, you know, I don't know if he is a beginner or not. But if you're a beginner, it's easy to look at this match and just think, what a load of shit, being diced to fucking death, you know? Um, but, you know, and he would... Like, sure, he did make mistakes. You know, he did make mistakes. Like, I would have played better than him, to be fair. I would have played better than him. Um, but it's easy for a new player to just look at the, the circumstances. 18 breaks to 4, the, the thrown rock, the TV difference. It's easy to look at that and think, there's nothing I could have done. It's a load of shit. I'm so unlucky, isn't it? But instead, he was just like, is there anything I could have done better? Which is just, it's just fucking crazy, isn't it? Crazy. Ooh, I, so it's a bit like the other one. I want to go dodge. I rolled the double again to go dodge, but I just need the killer, don't I? So I've got to go block. I've got to go block and try to build a build a build a killer somehow. I mean, I guess I've got plenty of games to go for it. So, aha, this guy's gonna get claw unless he gets a double. No, he's, I'm totally going claw with this fuckhead. I don't even care. Totally going. <laughs> claw. claw on a rotter. Oh man, what do they look like? Oh, it's just the Wolverine Claw, but he's only got one. He's only got one because he's a shithead rotter. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, that was amazing, wasn't it? That was really amazing. Right, um, so... 70. So now, now that I've got 220, I can spend 100 to upgrade this, can't I? And then still 120. And then the next time I go to 200 odd, I'll get the enhancement. Um, 1750. Pretty, pretty, pretty good team. Well, it's not really a good team, is it? Three, a touchdown for him gives piling on. I think because I just have to have a piling on player. 
a Kaz for him gets guard. Um, an MVP for him gets mighty blow. Where that, that's not so important, getting the mighty blow after the guard. Um, some touchdowns for him get sure hands. That's pretty important. And then just try to get a claw palm there and try to get a claw there as well. It's going to take a while, though, isn't it? going to take a while, but it's still amazing, this record. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.